Okay, so the reason I hate videos is do, making videos is because is because good is the enemy of done. Um, so I've got my OneNote on the left, and I got my PDF on the right, and that's just there to show you the PDF that we're actually using. Um, make sure you've downloaded it um, so you have a file, and then create a new page in your OneNote, and you don't really need to name it anything. And of course, make make sure that it makes sense to the kids in terms of what you're doing. I number everything, so. Then click on the page and go to insert printout and a pop-up will show you your files and so you grab the pdf and it will print out the file right onto the page so let me just highlight that so there's the file now i would do this in a couple of steps um, not to make things complicated but you always want to think about how things are going to go long term this file has the questions and the answers and the original file so i would keep this whole thing for me and i would label it teacher copy right it's a teacher copy and then i would copy the page and then i would get rid of the word teacher copy and this is the copy that the kids are going to get um, and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it simpler and easier for the kids i'm going to get rid of the file because they don't need the file and I'm going to get rid of the page that has the answers on it because they don't need the answers. Uh, I can push the answers out later after they've worked on it. So they have a copy of the answers, but they don't necessarily need the answers. All right. So I've got my PDF. It's printed out. And notice that it's an image. I can resize it. I can move it around. I can do whatever I want. It's just a picture. But if I do that, if I let kids move it around and let kids resize it, things are going to go chaotic because they're kids. So I right click it and choose set picture as background. And when I do that, notice the border of the image is gone. I, I can't resize it anymore. It won't resize. And I can't click it. As if I try to click it, it doesn't click. So it's stuck into the background of the page. So now I can click next to the words or under the words anywhere I want and type uh, whatever I want. Like so. Uh, if I have a pen active device, I can grab the highlighter and I can highlight things. Right? Okay, those words are the same. <laughs> um, I can do whatever I want with the pen. Uh, I can draw on it, what have you. So this is now ready to go out to the kids, uh, minus my bad answers. Um, just distribute it or use a teacher's assignment. Whatever you want for this page, it's ready to go. Um, they can't change the stuff in the background. They can type on top of it, they can add audio on top of it, they can add video on top of it, uh, or next to it, right? If they want to get long-winded, they have all this space down here to write. They can move over and they have all this space over here to write and, and whatever. Um, but it's stuck in the background, nothing's going to happen to it. Um, a kid could right-click it and choose unset from background. Um, most kids aren't going to do that, and it's a pretty easy correction thing to do in terms of their behavior. Um, if they don't uh, listen the first time. All right, so that's really what uh, what uh, the quick and dirty way. So it really is two steps, and I'll just do it again, um, just so that we got it again. So new page, insert, print out, grab the PDF, um, get, I mean, right from here, if you want to leave them the answers, just go insert, sorry, set picture as background, and the answers to set pictures of background, and now it's locked into the page and away they go so two quick clicks and it's done uh, everything after that is just making things nicer for you and the kids okay let me know if you have any questions uh, hopefully that was helpful